If you haven't heard, I do run my own boutique called You're Beautiful. We offer affordable and trendy clothing and accessories for a woman. We have a variety of tops, bottoms, dresses and rompers, and so much more. If you guys are interested in my boutique, I'll have all the links down below. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Melina, and we are back with the 100 Baby Challenge. I unintentionally took a break from the 100 Baby Challenge. I don't know, I felt like it was a little bit tedious. It's been a few months, but I'm so happy to start it again, and I hope you guys are excited to see this episode. So I thought we would start off with their cast first. So I did give a little makeover to each of the Sims. So we have Maya here. I gave her a new hair, some new clothes so everything's black she usually wears blue as her color but i just figured we'd mix it up a little bit okay so let's start with jesse so jesse is an adult i have kept her in the house because she can do some work if anything breaks or if we need some cooking because i do want to move jesse and kira together and plus maya's already pregnant and uh, we we can we have space so this is jesse i love love her outfit love the bucket hat love the necklace the tops so wicked cute so this is her everyday look here is her formal look. Here's her athletic look. So her theme is pink. You can just tell. Here's her sleepwear, party wear, swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. I feel like we're not really gonna see them in like any party wears or swimwear, but I just thought it'd be nice to give each one of them their own outfits after we release them into the world. Okay, up next is Kira. So Kira is still a teen. She has not graduated yet from high school. I don't know why, but she should get an A, but like each time I wait, she never has an A. Like girl, move on, please. So Kira's everyday outfit is a cute little fedora hat. Is it a fedora hat? I'm just, it's a hat, it's a cute hat. And her whole outfit theme is kind of like maroon and black. Here's her formal wear, athletic wear, sleep wear, party wear, swim wear hot weather wear and her cold weather i love this cute little puffer jacket it's the cutest thing ever up next is luna luna actually has similar color palettes to maya which is blue so i got her in this cute little outfit she just reminds me of a disney princess so this is her everyday wear here's her formal wear keeping with the blue and the butterflies in her hair her athletic wear sleep wear party swim wear hot weather and her cold weather i love this sweater so much i want to give it to some of my sims i just feel like it's so cute and it has a cute little purse of its own with a belt cute cute are you guys ready for nathan our first baby boy and he's the son of vladimir vlad guys but i don't think he's a vampire so we can't count it as two because supernatural usually counts as two but i don't think he is a vampire i don't see it so it's a shame but it's fine he's the first baby boy he's adorable i gave him kind of like white and grayish kind of themes to his outfit and i gave him white hair because vlad has white hair duh <laughs> So this is his everyday wear. His formal wear, everything's white. Athletic, sleepwear. I love this sleepwear. It's the cutest thing ever. I think it's one of the new sleepwears I downloaded. I don't have a lot of CCs for kids. I try to find more CCs for kids, but it's hard. There's not a lot out there, and some of them don't look that good. Here's his party. He just reminds me of Malik because they really like casual outfits. Here's his swimwear. Honestly, I don't remember if I put this together or if I left it as is because we're never going to see him in his swimwear his hot weather and then his cold weather cute 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 last but not least we have may i love may she's so cute i love love the hair that i gave her it's just curly and bouncy it's beautiful so her theme is i think i gave her more of an athletic theme i don't think i gave her any like color scheme to her so this is her everyday wear here's her formal wear athletic wear sleep wear i love this this is just do eat like okay it kind of doesn't make sense but i get what it means it's kind of like you know off of nike just do it but it says just do eat <laughs> here's her party wear swimwear hot weather wear so the game gave her these cute little bands on her hands and i thought they were cute so i just left them on there usually i don't give any accessories to my kids i just don't think it's worth it and here's her cold weather i guess i gave her a theme of blue as well but it's a mix of baby pink baby blue some whites and tones of blues so yeah so this is our family and i want to move everyone one out well i want to move jesse kira and luna out so luna can actually 
move out. I don't think she has any brothers or sisters from the same dad. I'm, I don't remember. Oh yeah, I also wanted to mention we have in total, I think 19 kids. So it's not a big dent to 100, but we're getting there. Oh, we're getting there. All right, so here we are, the whole family. Let me just show you guys a full view. There's a bunch of people in the house. They just kind of like enter the house and I feel like I locked my doors, but maybe it was unlocked. I don't know. But a lot of people's here. You guys probably see familiar faces. This is Irene. This is Haley. Love Haley. She's a queen. Oh, and Bree's here too. Oh, not Bree. Gina. I always get Bree and Gina mixed up because they look the same. You can see Vlad's here as well. Who's this? Oh, Cassidy. Cassidy's here too. Cassidy's pregnant. So I'm excited to see the baby. Cassidy and someone else is pregnant too. I just forget who. So I'm going to quickly take a look to see if there's anything we have to do. I think everyone's done their homework that needs to do their homework. No. Okay, but you're still sleeping. How far along are you? Ooh. Yeah, I'll let you sleep for a little bit more. I'll let you sleep and then you can use the bathroom and then you can eat something and then you can do your homework. Everyone needs to get up a grade, okay? Everyone needs to be an A student. Um, you also can use the bathroom and then you can also use the shower. Girl, you're stanky. And then you can eat and then you can do your homework, please. Oh, she's too tense. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Luna and Kira, no, Jesse, are fine. So, Maya, what are you doing? Oh, you're, you made a cake. Okay. Oh, Maya, you gotta use the bathroom. I actually locked this door because everyone kept on using this bathroom and I'm like, no, it's for Maya. Please stay away. So, Maya's eating a cake and there's just a bunch of people here and, oh, I forgot. We have our cute little garden here. I think the second era is gonna have to take care of the garden, which is gonna have a small one for now. I think I'm gonna let Jesse's working out and then you're eating. Well, I feel like Jesse's closer. So, Jesse, I think I'm gonna have you weed this and I think that's it because I think we already sold everything. Ooh, why don't you just sell that? I think that's basically it. We don't have a lot of plants and we can always get more plants. Wait! Oh, Fiona was here. It's just like everyone's coming here to visit. Someone's naked. Oh my god, wait, wait, wait. Sam's pregnant, right? Sam's the other one that's pregnant. Um... Lily, you might want to put some clothes on. There you go. Okay, so I'm excited to see their babies. I did look on the family tree. Actually, let me just take a look on the family tree for a second because someone has a baby. And right here. Okay, so Brie has a baby and it's called Zach. Oh, it's a baby boy. Okay, I'm excited to see how Zach turns out to be. I don't think I'm going to give them a makeover. They're just going to be cc -less. We're just giving makeovers to our own babies. Oh, okay, so here's the line of babies. So here's who we got. So we have Aspen. Sam, Lily, Elizabeth, May, Gina, Irene, Haley, Fiona, Nathan, Daphne, Cassidy, Bree, Luna, Kira, and Jesse. So this is our tree. If you guys notice, there's only one boy and it's Nathan. I don't know how that happened, but Maya just gives birth to a lot of baby girls. Okay, so in this episode, I did wanted to say that I want to, I want Maya to kind of like have more relationships with other men so that way it's easier to get some baby daddies, get some babies. So I think that's what i'm gonna do i might call over a few people who's this oh he's dead already okay so we've had a baby Makoa with the mermaid guy who else is here there's a lot of people that's dead okay so we have some relationship with Dwayne, and i think i'm just gonna like invite him over and just like you know flirt up a storm so that way it's easier for us to have the next baby daddy i think i'm gonna do that with a few of the guys here already i don't mind that everyone's visiting i just hate that they're making so much cake like we don't need this much cake okay oh this how come i can't throw it away a trash can or a sink is required to clean this up i have a sink right here <laughs> what okay whatever Dwayne's coming over maya was a bit sad someone did pass away i forget who okay so Dwayne's here Oh, I forgot to mention Maya is pregnant. She's in her second trimester, third trimester in four hours. So I can't wait. Okay, so we have a little Maya here. She is sad. She is really sad. But Dwayne's here. Oh, he went right close to us. You know, ooh. Um, why don't we give a flirt or blow a kiss blow a kiss just to see how he takes it because he was actually kind of hard in the last episode i was trying to like have him as the next baby daddy but he was a little bit hard oh what's what 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 <laughs> um that's a little bit uh, oh oh wait did he say no wait, wait wait oh he said no i've never seen that interaction he was like no 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 oh okay um are we just gonna sit with each other like this is kind of weird kind of weird Ooh, ask his personality type you know we can just talk to him 
you guys, seriously, okay, come come and sit next to him. Sit and chat here. Okay, so we're just gonna chat a little bit more, Dwayne. We already have kind of a love bar, so I don't know, compliment appearance, maybe that'll help us. Our girl is like in second trimester, but he, she does not look like it. She does not look like it. Okay, Dwayne. Oh, are you tired? Talk about cooking. I know you're tired, but we gotta like you know put on the moves on him we need some more baby daddies what is she doing i forget i always forget what i tell her to do oh my god look at her hair on this it's so cute it's like a little ponytail oh invite to feel the baby i'm pregnant looking for another baby daddy you know is he gonna why are you not taking any of it come on don't be like that don't be like that oh an awkward encounter <gasps> Oh, I don't think he likes it. I don't think he likes it at all. He fell asleep listening to it. That's rude. First kiss. I don't think he's gonna want a first kiss with us. Are you really on the phone call, Dwayne? You are so annoying. Ask Dwayne if he wants kids. Are you that hungry? Ooh, you kind of are. Okay, I'll let you have some food. Just talk a little bit with Dwayne first. Just talk a little bit with him. Where are you going? Oh, he seems happy about the news that I told him that I have a baby. And he says he's open to the ideas of having kids. Maya is dead. I know, Dwayne, you haven't been taking our, like, flirtatious interactions, but I'm gonna try with first kiss. And if he rejects us, then okay. Oh, what is this? Uninstall, left, right, up, down, jump, jump, jump. Who likes this stuff anyway? Try it as she may. Maya just can't get into gaming. Should Maya accept her gameless existence and finally come to terms with the fact that she dislikes video gaming? Ah, uh, sure. I haven't seen a sim of mine, like, dislike video games, but I guess. Okay, I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh, okay, yeah, I <laughs> I'm sorry, Maya. I know, I set you up for failure. I'm just gonna ask you to go home because you're no help at all. And Maya's really hungry, so we're just gonna give you some leftovers. Oh, Maya can now take family leave. Is she, like, close to, like, third semester? <gasps> give birth in! Oh my god, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. So she's gonna eat for a bit. You're embarrassed? Oh, you're hungry? Yeah, make sure you eat, and then you could probably sleep too. Everyone, oh, everyone, like, took a seat already. Okay. Here, you can sleep there when you're done eating. What's your problem? You're taking a shower. You can also get some leftovers after you're done i hate that when they take a shower and i tell them to go get some food they automatically stop showering you're hungry but you're tired i feel like i can leave jesse and luna alone because they can handle themselves so maya's eating and then afterwards you can use the bathroom and then you can sleep i think i'll let everybody sleep for now and then catch back up with you guys see if we can call some other baby daddies see if we can give birth and also see if the kids will get an a so i just saw this interaction it says loud noises before now it says monster so okay so nathan discovered a monster and he woke up made to oh my god can I get Jesse to wake up and spray? Spray under the bed. Please. Is he gonna go wake up Maya? Uh, no. Please come back. Please come back and see that it's getting sprayed. Oh my god, mate. Look, 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 look. Relax. Oh no. Luna woke up too. Luna's hungry. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Look, I sprayed the bed already. Oh, 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 oh. Everyone's up. Everyone's up. Wait, Luna, you're fine. I'll spray this bed for you too. Oh, how precious so precious i was just thinking where's nathan and oh that's so cute that's so cute okay so everyone's basically up and i didn't want everyone up yet so you're gonna have to use the bathroom so go ahead maybe you can cook something for us you know what yeah cook us some breakfast please even though it's so early in the morning let's see so get some eggs and toast you'll cook that up let me just see you're furious i don't know why did you do your homework you okay so you can do extra credit what about you you didn't do your homework oh my god oh maya spring the the <laughs> she's spraying the monsters okay all right did you do your homework yeah you did okay so may you didn't do your homework and what are you doing may how about i let you take a nice little shower and then hopefully you feel a little bit better and then you can do your homework why are you guys just standing here luna be useful you gotta do something here oh you know what can you clean anything out i don't think so i think you cleaned everything already okay well can you what's this clean this up please and we can put this in the fridge we have a lot of everywhere and this here clean it up and um i'll let you resume this cake and then we'll put that in there you can also drink the milk it's still brand new are you feeling a little bit better can you do your homework you can't 
Okay. Okay, you know, you know what? Yeah, watch some TV and uh, get your fun up, hopefully. Maya's feeling miserable. Her back is killing from the pregnancy. Oh, it's love day. Maya, you have to call someone over. Or should we go meet someone new? Because I feel like these guys don't really care for us. I mean, let me just invite... Well, it's a little bit early. Let me invite Knox over in a little bit and just see if we can flirt a little bit. Oh, you know what? Everyone should be called to a meal. Wait, is anyone even hungry? Because if not, okay yeah he's hungry she's fine she could eat okay so oh he's coming to eat good you can also grab a serving because you're a bit hungry and then everyone else should be fine maya why are you eating in the bathroom oh don't be like this look at her oh your teeth are so yellow <laughs> Thank you for the birthday money, Maya. I will make good use of it. I didn't give you money. What are you talking about? Oh, no. Okay, so we're gonna have to, like, spray the bugs. I gotta focus on this little garden here. We don't have a lot, but it could die instantly. So, yeah, we gotta be careful. All right, so the kids are going to school. And hopefully they get an A so that way they can <laughs> move out. Oh, Fiona's texting Luna. I saw something today that reminded me of you. Has anything reminded you of me lately? Fiona, you just came over. Over. We were talking, so yeah, of course. Oh, I actually want them to like focus in school, so study hard. Everyone's a little bit sad going to school. Don't know why, but it's okay. Study hard, and you can study hard as well. Good luck, guys. Please get an A. Maya is going to sleep. Okay. Jesse, since you're already cleaning up, let me just see if there's anything else that we have to clean up. I think everything looks fine for now. And, oh, you know what? Can you please sell these? Uh, let's see. Sell all. I don't know why there's no interaction. Like, they only sell, like, one plant. And I'm like, that's not what I want. When it says sell all, it's just sell all the plants. See? Okay, is she gonna sell everything? I hope so. Oh, what's this? Exchanging secret love day cards. For love day, May decides to handcraft a card for their crush complete with pipe cleaner hearts, glitter flowers, and dinosaurs. Because who doesn't love dinosaurs? May just needed to decide if she should let it slip that it was her with the card or secretly drop it in their cubby. So the option is secretly drop the card in the cubby, boldly deliver the card by hand. I feel like May's very out there, so I think she would choose boldly deliver the card by hand. Oh no! May's crush didn't even know she existed. This was an opportunity to change that. May bypassed the cubby in favor of a hand delivery. Unfortunately, she wasn't able to find her crush on the playground. By the time May gave up and returned to the cubby, her crush's book bag was gone and the entire opportunity had been lost. That's so sad. Oh, oh, okay, a bunch of things is happening. Okay, so decorating for the Love Day dance. When the teacher asked her volunteers to help set up for the Love Day dance, Carol was quick to raise her hand. Not only would she get out of class for a few hours, but she'd be given a unique opportunity. Decorate for the best dance ever. Prank the Love Day dance. I remember previously with one of my kids when i said decorate for the best dance ever people thought it was so tacky and they didn't like it so i think i'm gonna go with prank the love day dance what is going on everyone has something oh my god this is nathan oh nathan i feel like our boy is soft since we already chose boldly deliver the card by hand i'm gonna say secretly drop the card in the cubby because i feel like nathan's a little bit of a soft boy so there okay so we just got some royalty princess of pranks the story of love day all titles were sold upon kira for her manically and gentle when decorating the gym for the love day dance sure she got in a bit of a trouble with the teachers but that's part of the fun all of the school thinks kira is hilarious and the dance was way better than it would have been otherwise and then oh nathan Nathan secretly dropped his card in the cubby. When his classmate came in from recess, he waited as his crush put their coat away. Unfortunately, the love day card had slipped between the cracks and was never found. That's so sad. So both options are just like sad endings. Oh my god. So I just saw a grade zero for Kira. Oh my god. We can move her out. We can move her out. Okay. I am so happy. Okay. So... Kira's like dead, but like, do you have to do any cleanups? I don't think so. Kira's a high school A student. Okay, we're gonna age her up. We're aging her up. Okay, so I'm gonna open the fridge and see if we have any cake that we can. Uh, I think I put a cake in Maya's inventory. So no, we have to make a new one. Oh my god. Well, Haley's making us a cake right now. Actually, you know what? Oh, 
Vlad's here. Okay. Uh, let me just see. Maya's sleeping. So I'm gonna ask Jesse to resume the white cake. And we're just gonna throw this cake away because it's expired. Okay, no one touched this cake. No one touch it because we are going to put candles on it. At birthday candles. It's kind of sweet that Jesse made a cake for Kira. Okay, Kira, I know you're tired, babes. I know you're tired. But you're gonna make a wish. I love that everyone's here. Everyone just like comes in. Like I didn't give them a key. Okay, here we are. Here we oh Vlad's here too. Okay. Everyone's here celebrating. Okay. Happy birthday, Kira. You're an adult, young adult, finally, finally. Oh, everyone's like in the way. Oh, Haley's having a drink. Oh my god. Everyone's in the way. Wait, are you not gonna eat job? You what uh, hello? 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 What is going on? Oh, no, please don't tell me it's a stupid bug. Is everyone in the way? Is that why? Can you come here? Go here. Hello? Are you gonna age up? I'm gonna force age her up. I don't care. Because she is already a young adult. Set age, young adult. Because we just blew out the candles. And I feel like this is another stupid bug. This has happened before in my 100 Baby Challenge. Where they just do not age up. It's so stupid. Okay, Kira, what is it gonna be? A dance machine. Okay, I guess. I'm gonna move out Kira, Jesse, and Luna. All right, so I moved out Jesse, Kira, and Luna, but I think there's like a little glitch or a bug because it still shows that they're here, but when I go to manage world, they're not there anymore. So I'm not sure, I'll fix it later. I don't, I can't bother with it, but Maya is soon to be pop. I can't wait to see what we have, I can't wait. Oh my god, she's in labor, she's in labor. I was actually gonna get her to like do a flirty introduction with this sim that just randomly came into my house, but I think he's going away i don't know who he is but it's fine it's fine so maya we're gonna give birth okay have baby okay maya what what where are you what <laughs> where are you going what hello i just told you to give birth and you are not listening okay maya it's time to give birth maya's having a baby what are we gonna get what are we gonna get oh god she's like again 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 let's go let's go i've had enough i've had enough <gasps> okay we have a girl okay so i think may was the last one we're going by alphabet so we need n n i don't really know a lot of names for n how about we go with nessa i don't know if that's how you spell it i don't know i don't know whatever it's fine <gasps> oh my god two babies finally finally we've been only having one a baby each time so i'm so happy that there's two okay oh so oh i think we're gonna go with olive that's a pretty name so olive it is oh my god so we had two uh, baby girls twins twins yes yes maya yes and maya's just by herself <laughs> okay okay so that's not good you can take a shower here where's the other baby where's the other oh oh my god a baby's over here okay olive all right guys i think i'm gonna wrap it up here we've got two new twin baby girls we've moved out the three young adults and we're just waiting for the other kids to get an a we are going to get maya pregnant in the next episode so stay tuned for that if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on notifications so that way you never miss a video and i'll see you in the next video